Today's tutorial is going to be a cleanup day. And a cleanup day is just where you sort of take stock of what you've been doing so far in the game and making sure that everything runs consistently and that it's, it's organized for when you want to move forward. Because uh, eventually, I think the next sort of set of tutorials we're going to work on are going to deal with uh, inventory management. And inventory management is all about organization. So let's let's think about our code for a second here, and let's let's take a look at the code and let's see how we might be able to organize this even more. You're you're starting to see already how code pages can get pretty long, and and we haven't even we don't even have that much here. So there is another way you can organize in addition to using comments. You can group your code in GDevelop. You come up to this uh, pl plus sign here and you click group and it'll create this blue section here which we'll, um, we'll go ahead and we'll drag up up to here okay and we're gonna call this group um, Bob movements again similar to our comment here I I prefer to keep comments and groupings together actually because I can write things in my comments like um, need to fix um, movement of character here I can make comments to myself or I can remind myself how uh, specific variables being used up here so I like to keep comments and and groupings actually together. In order to make the this code here connect with this particular grouping, we've got to take the code and drag it out to the right. See how the line is now connected to this grouping? And we do the same thing here. Now the nice thing is we can collapse this group heading and you can see how uh, grouping can actually make things a little bit more readable. Uh, we can do the same thing here. Let's add another group for collisions. And this is up to you. Realize that you're, you're going to group things based on how you see your programming world. So for something that's still fairly small like this, I might call this group um, Bob's Collisions. And I'll include this here, Bob is collision with the cement block. Uh, I'll include his desk collisions as well. Uh, let's go here. All right, I can do that. Bob is in collision with the doorway. Again, you gotta make sure it's all connected here. connected here and this can stay out of of there and I'll get rid of these and just leave one comment box for up here and again I, I like to let's, G develop is bugging out a little bit I like to um, Let's do this one at a time. There we go. Now I think we can do it. I like to have my comments above the the headers of these grouping headers, um, but you can already see sort of how this is gonna. This can make things a lot more organized, um, and it doesn't change what actually happens in your uh, game. Right, it still uses it. It's just for organization. See, he still says, this is my desk. We talked about this. All right, so that's one, one way we can organize things. We can do it here as well. Um, and you do want to get in the habit of, once you start to learn how you code, 
um, that you do this you know while you're creating it does not like this there we go and let's call this group Bob's collisions and we'll do we'll bring these out so they're connected all right camera doesn't need its own grouping right now but you might in the future have multiple cameras in which case you'll uh, create a grouping for that as well all right so we've cleaned up our code a little bit here there's something else that you may have noticed uh, that we need to clean up as well and that is although we made Bob global you'll see when he's in the kingdom he's no longer animated he's no longer blinking and that's because we only have Bob blinking here in our events within this scene well we want Bob to be blinking throughout all our project events so what we can do is we can create what's called an external event and you can think about the external event similarly to like globalizing something right it'll be seen throughout the entire project provided you link it so let's go ahead and let's start with going to our project manager up here and here we have external events and let's create an external event and and rename it and again naming is important this is going to be um, we'll call this one player Bob okay so now we can double click this and we can choose uh, the scene in which our player Bob external event is going to be included let's choose main All right, there are no events in player Bob. Let's go ahead and add uh, an empty event here, which we're gonna fill in with a copy and paste. And basically what we wanna do is we wanna copy and paste these events here. So let's copy, I'm gonna move the Bob, oh, it won't let me, okay. Let's copy and paste. Let's get this one here. Let's add a new event. Copy and paste and copy and paste. Okay, now that's not done yet. We're, we're not finished with this. We have to actually link this external event to our uh, scenes that we want them to work. So let's go ahead and let's get rid of Let's delete these because we don't need these anymore if we have our external events. Let's get rid of these here. And rather than have Bob movements here, I'm going to have a grouping called external events. And I can, I like to make this heading in, in any scene that I have external events to keep these together. Let's go ahead and now hit the plus button up here and now we want to link our external event to this scene and you see it already created it right here i'll go ahead and i'll move it over so that it's actually under external events and yeah we call this player bob okay now player bob is now linked to main events if we did this correctly there should be no change in, in how our Bob character moves around. Yep, he's still going, he's still blinking. Okay, but when we go to here, because we haven't linked the external event yet, notice he's not animating. So let's go ahead and let's link that. King Kingdom Events, let's create a link, and we want to include Player Bob. And I'm going to go ahead and, and um, I'll make a grouping here. And we'll call this external events. And I'm going to move my external event underneath and within that grouping. And I like to place a comment again. I'll place a comment in between here. I think it just shows better 
and you can list your external events here if you want. But if we did this correctly, it should now work. All right, he's good there. There he goes. All right, so we've cleaned up our code a little bit here. We've uh, learned about attaching external events. And uh, pretty soon we're going to get into uh, inventory management.